Welcome back to Innovation RC guys. If you recall, we put the twin turbo attachment on the Creighton 8S. So if you guys know and if you have been looking at the other videos, we've been having a little bit of issues regarding gearing up, having the batteries hold up. Keep in mind, I'm not doing this just to, oh, it's a wow, a cool factor. I actually want it to work. Purpose of the whole twin turbo project and the dual EDFs is only to assist the power system. So of course, with this 8S power hungry vehicle, this is going to be the perfect opportunity to test it. So of course we have our computer out and we're gonna be doing data logs. So if we look closer, you'll notice that there are two extra support uh, tie rods. Obviously the Creighton 8S, it wants to wheelie. When it goes back down, obviously the weight of the EDS are gonna slam forward. So that's the purpose of these. Also it's going to adjust them up and down. It's one of the main purposes of these support and adjustability. Same thing with the rear ones, but we only needed the rears for uh, the limitless. All right, so right now we're gonna clear our logs. So we'll see first run and second run guys can see in there nice I'm gonna do a first pull on this just try to jam it from the beginning and try to pretty much have it go as quick as it can we're gonna do the first one with the second one without the EDFs ready set go this is gonna be the second pass if you can see our EDFs are unplugged right there so there you go, no EDF action. So now we're just gonna do another pull without the EDFs. Here we go. So here we go, guys. We're all hooked up and we're gonna see what the data log, uh, we're gonna see what it says. So we're gonna go to logging. Only 3% used just because it was only two passes as a quick download. All right. So already from looking at this, my eyes go right to the voltage drop, which is this big red line. Now you could see the second run, which was without the EDF setup, the voltage drop is more. So here, let's signal out, uh, let's signal out one run if it wants to let me. There we go. All right, so that's our voltage. This solid straight line, that's our voltage cutoff. So it's pretty much just monitoring our voltage. Now my mouse is directly on the lowest it could possibly go. 28.2 volts. All right, so we're at 28.2 volts, uh, half a volt of ripple, 94 amps. Uh, 3.948, well, it's about three and a half horsepower. Uh, I'm not really worried about the temperature. And yada 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 so here we go now what we are going to do is zoom back out and we're gonna go here to this second run without the assist and we're gonna go over here to the smallest I mean to the lowest peak our mouses BAM 27 volts so we are in fact uh, we're keeping our voltage drop up because the assist is really working 117 amps and 4.1 horsepower so pretty much we were the motor was pulling like a half a horsepower less and about 20 amps less as well so it's confirmed as well uh, it works <laughs> and the logs prove it I am so happy and it's really really cool I actually want to save this log we're gonna save it right now. EDFs pull this truck, you know, without the main power source. Well, we're about to find out. We have our main motor wires uh, unplugged. All right, here we go, guys. There we go.
It sounds like a diesel truck with the turbo spooling up. This thing is so much fun. Be sure to follow Innovation RC on Instagram if you want to see some nice pictures, videos, whatever, not seen here on YouTube. So if that seems interesting, definitely do it. Be sure to subscribe for more. We're going to have a lot more stuff going on. Also, being that it is mid-March right now, please be safe and do your due diligence regarding this coronavirus thing. You know, try to, try to do your best regarding washing your hands, doing all that stuff that they tell you to. Definitely be safe, guys. Have a good one.